so now we will open our file like the sidebar and here is my server let's go to php include folder and the sidebar here we will first of all create a menu for this should creating a menu we can create a menu after this first of all we will make a copy of this type of menu like uh, this type of menu we will make a copy from here nav item form utilities if i copy this or we can simply edit this utility system we can make it epin then the first menu will be okay this is something how something is working let's see how it is working we have utilities then this is the menu okay we will edit it okay it will be after utilities we can remove this one okay now here it is first of all the menu will be even uh, in request in request then the second one will be uh, what it can be history okay it's good okay sounds good history and the, the two menus are enough for this epin and epin history let's save it and see the file what we have changes here okay need to refresh it again okay now you can see we have epin and the epin request and history okay great now and one of the chain e pin is like good now mm -hmm. he will create a page for e pin request and first of all come to your users folder create create a file called e pin request 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 dot php even request.php and open your home.php file also and and copy the content of your home.php to even request to make it some few easy and this is the page for our even request even request okay here it is done now in the sidebar menu we just need to make the url here like uh, the reference will be e pin request dot php like okay now it's done e pin request dot php let's see the output now when refresh and i will click on e pin request here it is we have the e pin request file now we need to create a form by which a user can submit the request to to access the form we need a card and as you can see we already have the cards like this if we open the url in uh, another tab and just go to this page we should have a card code uh, here is components it's cards we need a card we will just use the card and there are so many card we can use any of them like i wanted to use uh, this one or this one is good looking good Okay, this one is looks good. Uh, this one is also good. This I want to use this one, and the code this. Okay. First, open his page in your system. That is cards dot php. Card dot php. Just go one folder above, and cards dot html file. Sorry, and we we want you to use this one. Basic card example. So where is this basic? card example okay, okay 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 basic card example okay so here is our card we wanted to use this card just copy this just copy the card from here to our epin request.php file here uh, here is the container after like i wanted to put also a hr here to make it a few clear like here the hr okay hr didn't work because okay like this now work we just pasted the code here make a simple alignment here and just here just save the file and see the output in our file we refresh the page voila we have a 
card here now we wanted to make the request okay it's done now just change few things like uh, even re request form even request form here even request form here has done and just need to remove the card element from here we'll create few rows so that it can be responsive for here if any user user will open this website in their phone they will have a ui interface a good ui interface so we'll create here row like a class okay here is another way to create row like tip dot row is done now we will create column for the first of all we want to create the form and above of the row as you can see we will create the form then just remove this all code okay now form form is created now inside the form we need a row now div dot row the row is here now i wanted to create a column like div dot call md4 Okay, it doesn't work. Okay, day class call md4. In the form, we need a input box. Uh, first of all, we will create a label, or we will take a form group like day class form group. And inside form group, we need a label. And in label, like first field should be the what people need to enter first of all the how much epin they want like the number of epin they want number of epin required required okay number of epin required and and number of epin required and now we need an input box to fill the number of epin like input type number and the name can be number of e pin number of e pin okay and we need to check the output if it's working okay we have form here okay also use a class inside class form control here form control is working ok form control is working number of been required the second one there will be a amounting system like if user enter the number if in the amount should be shown to here like that how much amount he need to pay to admin to accepting the request so we need to make a calculation so first of all we will take a one e pin amount like uh, i want to take a one e pin amount is 500 is okay okay rupees 500 for one e pin so we will take this very well we will create a jquery here like a script and i i am just making this here like where e pin single e pin amount single e pin is goes to 500 now whenever user will click on then and enter the amount there the amount should be automatically updated like we will create another another column so just copy this paste it here and number we required now the amount to be paid amount okay amount to be paid now amount to be paid by the user and here will be only the output will be shown here okay we can see the input and this will be read only read only and we can set the id for this id amount to pay okay amount to pay will store the amount of to pay like this and it's done if I show the output it is here amount to pay and it is not editable because it will it is here to only to show to the user like if you were requesting the n number of e pin the amount will be n and amount will x anything okay now 
we need to make a id for this ep epin box like uh, number of epin again number of epin here now if the user will click on epin whenever they will key up then whenever they will type the number it will update automatically so first of all i will make the value to zero of this one of this output amount like value to zero for the output of the amount to be paid so by default it will show the zero amount you need to pay because the number of amount zero okay also i wanted to set the zero to number of epin required so it will be very easy to understand value zero again because number of epin is zero now whenever user increment the amount of epin as you can see here whenever the user increment the amount of epin or enter any epin number the amount should be calculated here in the section amount to be paid now um, now user will click okay now we, we now we need to make the script like uh, hey, dollar hash uh, the id of is the id is the, the number of epin dot on key up i just forgot the code the key up i just forgot let's see jquery on key up or jquery key up function it should work for us i just forgot it for mind okay what's happening it is not processing it w3 is cool anyhow here the code dot key up function dot input dot key up function it will give us the key up function okay it should work like this number of if in dot key up it will call the function is it the key up okay it, it is key up function and it will call it and here it is now let's see it is working or not let's anything uh, anything make alert here and just submit it okay where you are going okay now let's see the output here is the output if i enter any number here as you can see we have alert section here okay it is good now it's done we have alert we have made the alert system here and now we need to make the work and we need to fetch the value also so we can fetch the value like this uh, this dot value it will work or not i am really very confused about this every time not too sure it will work or not okay it is working now it's good now as you can see we have a uh, in front of because by default it is zero and if i put anything we get the information with the zero so we have to remove the zero also from the in front of the input value so if the value is zero we just need to remove this okay first of all we will do what we will do if the value is zero okay by default we can remove the zero from our input box let's remove this it's done now we have the value of this now we have to just calculate the amount to be paid by the user uh, now we need to store the value well total amount to pay total amount to pay is the to the number of epin into the single epin amount like uh, this dot well multiply the single epin single epin now it will store the amount to pay as you can see we can store okay it it is not well it is where i just made the request and now we can see if it is working amount total amount to pay is will be here if i alert the request here and uh, just made it is 4 it is 2000 that's good now we just need to store the amount to amount we paid section box and just remove the alert box and the id of the is id is this amount to pay dot well value will be total amount to pay that's it now just need to submit the file and just refresh it 
and now if you enter 1 as you can see here we have if I enter here 2 if I here 2 3 or 5 the amount is automatically incremented here like it's good now if I want 100 e-print then the amount is 50,000 if I want 50 then 25 percent 10 for 5,000 now 2 for 1000 1 for 500 uh, it's good now we have form input now we need to send this request okay 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 now we also need to now we also we also wanted to uh, upload the receive because it because the user will send the payment using upi or any online payment method or user will send the payment to to admin's bank account or in admin hand then to upload any payment proof here so that admin can understand that they actually receive the payment okay so in the next video we will make this